Hello, and welcome back. Now, one of our commentators had asked, Hey, could you open up the side panel and show us actually inside the case and talk about some upgrade paths? And I thought, hey, that's a great idea for a video. Let's go ahead and do that. So to open this case up, we just remove this single screw. Like so. Pull this tab, pop this side panel off, and here is the inside of the case. Now you may be asking yourself, Joe, how on earth do I get this power supply out of the way? Well, Dell was actually pretty smart when they simply said, move this to unlock, move this to unlock, and lift up. This is a... Uh, Awfully difficult one-handed. And there is the inside of the case with this power supply on this clever little swingy arm thing. Well, you may be asking yourself, now what can we upgrade in this case? The answer is not much, but we can upgrade a few core components. For instance, the NVMe hard drive is right here. The graphics card would have to be removed before you can do that, but that is upgradable. Of course, the graphics card is upgradable, so when NVIDIA comes out with their 3000 series, hey, if you're so inclined and want to spend the money, there you go. The RAM in this system has already been upgraded to 32 gigabytes. It is actually cheaper to order this aftermarket than it is to pay the $200 premium that Dell wants. Which brings us to the stickler, the processor. Intel loves to make you buy a new motherboard and memory every single cycle generation. So, this is a 10th generation Intel CPU. You are going to be stuck with a 10th generation Intel CPU in this case. <clears throat> now, another concern is you have a single outtake fan and a single intake fan. From a thermal standpoint, how does this work? So I decided to play some Doom to see what our temperature settings would be. Kind of put a stress on the graphics card. And, oh my God, there's a monster. Woo! Ah, whew, that was close. Oh no, oh my God, chains off that dude. Yeah, chains off. There, there we go. Woo, great. Woo. Ah, that was close, that was close, that was close. Ah, okay. okay, there we go. Everybody's clear, we're safe. Whew, whew. I can't play this game anymore. There we go. Uh, relatively good. You know, we're looking at a mid 60s Celsius. Graphics card 73 degrees Celsius. Not bad. Fan speed 27 and 12. I say we have a winner on our hands.